Last week we were set up for hardship, for struggles, for anonymity between our own family members, right? Because the reading that we had this morning is merely a continuation of what Jesus said last week, right? He said, I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. I did, you know, I came to put son against father, daughter against mother, family members against family members, and now we have this, whoever welcomes you welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes... Where did this come from? What is going on here? Jesus set us up, and the disciples up, that they were going to test the struggle, right? And that's what we think. To be a disciple of Jesus is something that we have to struggle to. To be a disciple is something huge. It's something that we have to give up a lot for, right? We have to give up our lives. We have to give up a big part of who we are in order to follow Jesus and do what He's called us to do, right? Is that what, is that, is that what we think? If not, I've got a completely another sermon I could preach here. I was thinking of it while I was, the readings were going on over here. Right, but we think that being a disciple of Jesus is something that's going to cost us a lot. It's something that we're going to have to give things up for in order to do it, right? Even Jesus himself said, take up your cross and follow me. Take up the instrument of death and come after me. But Jesus does it exactly the same way that he does it every time. When we think we know exactly where he's going, he takes everything and flips it over on its head. Because he just did it again here this morning in our verses. Whoever welcomes you welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. And to anyone who gives a cup of water to one of the disciples will not lose their reward. That's where he said it, right there. And whoever gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones in the, in the name of a disciple, truly I tell you, none of those will lose their reward. How many of you have ever given a cup of water to anyone? Your spouse, your wife, your children, it all counts, right? A cup of water. We think being a disciple of Jesus means something huge, a huge sacrifice, that we have to do great feats, that we have to go out and feed an entire village someplace in a third world country, that we have to go do something that no one else can possibly do, because that's what Jesus has called each and every one of us to do, to do the incredible, to do the thing that the person sitting next to us could never do. And sometimes that's what being a disciple is. But more often than not, being a disciple... It's just doing the small things that Jesus has asked us to do day in and day out. It's giving a cup of water to someone who needs it. It's giving a hug to someone who needs to know that they're loved. It's listening to a friend who really needs to talk through something or have somebody just listen to them spout. It's offering a ride to someone who couldn't get to where they need to go if you weren't there to take them. It's volunteering at a local food bank Maybe a local animal shelter. Maybe a local thrift store. Volunteering someplace in your local neighborhood. It's giving a donation. Maybe to Lutheran World Relief, to any local charity, to someplace that you would go and volunteer yourself. Maybe it's giving something here to St. John's. Maybe it's cutting the grass for a neighbor who can't get out and do it. Helping someone do something, like put in a garden or fix something in their house that they couldn't possibly do on their own. It's the little things that we do day in and day out. It's truly what makes us disciples. And to really make the point, they drive the point completely home here, Jesus says, whoever gives a cup of water to one of these little ones. Is that what Jesus said? Look at your reading. Jesus said, even who gives... He didn't say gives a cup of water. He said... To anyone who gives even a cup of water. He adds the emphasis of using the word even. Meaning the smallest thing that you could think of. Someone needs a drink. So the fact that you're willing to give them a cup of water is something that you're doing in the name of Christ. And something that makes you a disciple. You see, discipleship does not have to be something that's heroic. It's small acts done day in and day out. It's acts of devotion, tenderness, forgiveness that largely go completely unnoticed because they're the day-in, day-out tasks that we do routinely. They're the things that we don't think could actually get us any notice. But they're the things that Christ calls each and every one of us to do in His name to others around us. It's those 
little things that tend to relationships. Those little things that tend to the relationships that are most important to us, that are done in the name of Christ, in the name of love. So also the life of faith is composed of these small same gestures over and over and over again. Except according to Jesus, there is no small gesture. Even a cup of water is something that will keep someone from losing their reward. Everything done in faith and love has cosmic significance for the ones involved and for the world God loves so much. Just like the smallest pebble dropped into the water will make ripples go out into the entire lake. Right? We've all seen it. Those ripples go on and on for much longer than that small pebble should have ever caused. It's kind of like the story written by, it's a poem story written by Loren Isley called The Star Thrower. And part of it talks about, or I'll just read a snippet of it for you. Once upon a time there was a wise man who used to go to the ocean to do his writing. He had a habit of walking on the beach before he began his work, and one day as he was walking along the shore, he looked down the beach and saw a human figure moving like a dancer. He smiled to himself at the thought of someone who would dance at the beginning of the day. And so he walked faster to catch up. As he got closer, he noticed that the figure was that of a young man, and what he was doing was not dancing at all. The young man was reaching down to the shore, picking up small objects and throwing them into the ocean. He came closer still and called out, Good morning. May I ask what it is that you are doing? The young man paused, looked up and replied, Throwing starfish into the ocean. I must ask then, Why are you throwing starfish into the ocean? Asked the somewhat startled wise man. To this the young man replied, Well, the sun is up and the tide is going out, and if I don't throw them in, they'll die. Upon hearing this, the wise man commented, but young man, do you not realize that there are miles and miles of beach and there are starfish along every mile? You can't possibly make a difference. At this, the young man bent down, picked up yet another starfish and threw it into the ocean. As if it, and as it met the water, he said, it made a difference to that one. And that's exactly the point to what Jesus is saying in our gospel lesson today. It doesn't matter what you do, great or small, you're making a difference in someone else's lives. Jesus has promised to come and redeem everything in love, to fix all the damages, to, feel, to fix every hurt, to wipe away every tear from our eye. And in the meantime, he calls for us to do what some have named arcs, acts of random kindness. Right? Acts of mercy, deeds of compassion, both large and small. Not trying to save the world doing what we're doing because that's not our job. Our job is not to save the world. That's Jesus' job. He merely uses us to touch others' lives. Jesus has promised that He is going to come and save the world. We need to simply care for our little corner that we've been placed in, waiting for Him to return. And that is what we've been called to do and sent to do. We go out each one of these doors to serve the place that we've been put. And so even a cup of cold water can make a huge difference and an unexpected difference to those whom we give it. And according to Jesus, such an act has eternal and cosmic consequences. So you have been called and sent to go and give water to those around you that need it to go and continue doing the things that you've already been doing. See, you're already making a difference in countless ways, making this world that God loves so much a little bit better, a little more trustworthy, a little more joyful. And all of this you're doing through your gestures of love, mercy, and compassion. And remember that the things that you do, there is no small gesture. That through your cold cups of water, or maybe even lukewarm cups of water, Hugs, helping hands, listening ears, and any act that you do in the name of Christ. You are making a difference in this world and showing people exactly who Jesus is in your life and who He can be in theirs. Amen.